Welcome to several examples on translating statements into algebraic expressions. For number one, Jose is eight inches taller than Elisa. Let A represent Elisa's height in inches. Write an algebraic expression to represent Jose's height. So we want to express Jose's height using the variable A that represents Elisa's height. And because Jose is eight inches taller than Elisa, the expression A plus eight represents Jose's height. If we know Elisa's height, which is A, and then we add eight inches, we will have Jose's height. Number two is related. Jose is eight inches taller than Elisa. Let J represent Jose's height in inches. Write an algebraic expression to represent Elisa's height this time. So we want to express Elisa's height using the variable J, which represents Jose's height. And we can also say that if Jose is eight inches taller than Elisa, Elisa is eight inches shorter than Jose. So we want to express Elisa's height using the variable J, which is Jose's height. Because Elisa is eight inches shorter than Jose, the expression would be J minus eight. Again, if we know Jose's height and then subtract eight inches, we will have Elisa's height. Number three. Suppose sales tax in your city is currently 8.6 percent. Write an algebraic expression representing the sales tax for an item that costs C dollars. To find the percent of an amount, we multiply, but we also must express the percentage as a decimal. So 8.6 percent is equal to 0 0.086 as a decimal. Remember to convert a percent to a decimal, we drop the percent and divide by 100. So if we want 8.6 percent of an item that costs C dollars, which would be the sales tax, we need to multiply 0 0.086 and C. So that would give us 0 0.086 times C. But normally when writing algebraic expressions, we leave off this multiplication sign because if we write the decimal next to the variable, the multiplication is implied. So it's normally written as 0.086C. For number four, you started this year with $485 saved and you continue to save an additional $50 per month. Write an algebraic expression to represent the total amount saved after M months. So you begin with $485 and then you add in $50 each month, and because we're told M is a number of months, the expression to represent the total amount saved is 485 plus 50 times M, or just plus 50M. Again, the multiplication is implied when we have 50 written next to M. For number five, movie tickets cost $9 for adults and $6.50 for children. Let an algebraic expression to represent the total cost for A adults and C children to go to a movie. Each adult ticket costs nine dollars, each child ticket costs six dollars and fifty cents. So the total cost for the adult tickets would be nine dollars times A or nine A plus the total cost for the children's tickets would be six dollars fifty cents times C. Assuming the units are dollars, we can write six point five times C or just 6.5 C. Assuming the units are dollars, this expression will give us the total cost for A adults and C children to go to the movie. I hope you found this helpful.